welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is our first sticker Sunday that is part of Vlogmas. For the next three Sundays, I will be sharing a video that is somewhat sticker related. This Sunday, we're gonna start with some of my sticker organization. I have to admit, this is not all of my stickers. Not even close. Today I am gonna show you how I have sort of my category stickers organized. So what I mean by that is stickers that are meant for specific things. And that is what these six binders are right in front of me. These are all Chrissy and Designs binders. These ones on the left are ones that I have purchased. So you can purchase these binders on her website by themselves. She's got a ton of different patterns and they can all come in like any different color that you want. I've been trying to build a rainbow. So I've got the purple, the orange, the teal. I've got one that's blue for something else that you'll see eventually but I'm trying to build a rainbow so that when I have them on their sides like this it it makes a rainbow these are sold separately by the way these side stickers you also get a binder for free if you spend a hundred or more dollars in her shop so just something to be aware of these ones are also Chrissy and designs but I got at various different events so this one I got at the New England planner girl meetup this one I got at go wild uh, 2018 I also have the go wild 2019 but that is being used for something else and then this is the celebrations collection from 20. 17 i believe it was the very first one that she offered the binding did say celebrations collection but i covered it with this pink one because i wanted it to look like everything else and i totally regret that because it bubbled up and now it looks awful but that's what this one is but inside is all the same setup and i need to start this with i used to store these type of stickers in full eight and a half by 11 binders i have a video of that if you want to go check that out that is how i used to store my stickers and the reason that i did it that way was because i don't usually plan outside of my apartment i usually only plan here there i, I don't take stickers with me to meetups i don't plan other places like I didn't need it to be portable so I thought the bigger binders are better than the smaller binders because they you know you can fit more in the binder so I need less binders but as time went on a lot of shops started creating sticker sheets that have holes punched for mini binders you see this we're gonna flip through all these by the way but this like almost every shop now I feel like has that option. And so it just felt like I needed to store in mini binders and that it was just gonna be easier. So I have since transitioned almost everything. Everything you'll see today has been transitioned to the setup of mini binders. Now, what I don't necessarily love about these mini binders quite yet, and I haven't found a solution, and maybe you can help me with that, is I haven't been in them long enough. I, I say that, it's been like almost a year. But when I have them on their side like this, I don't remember exactly what's in this. Like, I don't remember exactly what's in the teal one. I don't know exactly what's in the orange one. And maybe that will, that'll get better over time, but I really wish I could find a way to like, I mean, I could just write it on here, I guess. Oh, but then what if I mess it up? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's what I'm gonna end up doing is just writing on the this vine. So for example, let's let's start flipping and then it'll make more sense. I have this pouch on the inside. I probably use this binder for something else at one point, which is why it has this pouch. She sells these as well. They can be good for like samplers or whatever. This one has, it looks like self-care and sports is pretty much anything that's in this binder. So I should just write that on the outside, self-care, sports, and then it'll be easier when I plan. I'm, well, I'm gonna flip through my stickers. I'm gonna talk about some organization strategies and I'm gonna do my best to let you know what shops everything is from. That way, if you're interested, you can go grab it yourself. So this is Design Pandemonium, but this was from an event, so that is no longer available. These little bathtubs from Blue Scooter Press, little bath bombs from Blue Scooter Press. These are from One Orange Snowflake. I don't actually know if she's around anymore. Um, a lot of my self-care section is related to the bath, if you couldn't tell. Um, rock paper stickers, paper panda, more bubble baths, more bubble baths, coffee monster co. This one is one of the ones I just ordered from during the wild sale. Yeah, Bella Rose. Um, same with this one. And then some more bath ones back behind here. This is gonna be a really long video, like, and if you do this for every single one, pretty cute planner is what those are from. And then these are also pretty cute planner. And then I have sports stickers. Now, this brings me to conundrum number two that I have not solved. I would like dividers. What I would love is what I had in my full size binders, which is a divider with a pocket. And the reason for that is when I get new stickers, sometimes, unless it automatically goes in like this, which say I get a sheet like this, I want a, a pocket to just stick it in, in that moment. Or when I'm done planning, if I don't have that much time, in that moment, I'll just stick it in the pocket. And then later on, when I have more time, I'll go back and put it into the page protectors. So what I really want is a divider that sticks out 
and has pockets. I have not found something that works. I, I looked on Amazon. I've looked at the office supply store. I don't, I don't know what the problem is, but I haven't found something that is a, a divider for this size binder that has a pocket in it. I may just have to give up and get dividers without the pockets. Um, so sports. So I've got football stickers. These are from Design Pandemonium. They also do them custom in your team's colors. This very crafty mama. This is from Chrissy Ann and Michaels. Chrissy Ann, Lily Henry, she is not around anymore. I'm probably gonna just kind of flip over. You're gonna see a lot of her stuff in my stickers. It is all very cute, but she is not a shop anymore. And I apologize. We have, um, oh, hello. Again, a bunch of just football, soccer, little longhorns, um, more football. Some of these I made myself, so that I can't really help you with. These are Chrissy Ann. These are Chrissy Ann. Um, Design Pandemonium, Chrissy Ann. This is from Rory Sweet Addictions. I think someone gave these to me as a gift. I don't necessarily feel super comfortable that she uses all the logos on here, but that's just me. These these are something that a friend made, and then, I mean, same thing here. Oof. I don't know, all those logos going on. These I made myself, and then these game day ones are from Libby and Co, and she's so sweet. So I saw them from her, and she offered them in, I think, just this colorway, and I said, you know, it would be a really good idea is if you made it a sampler in all the colors, and then also if you offered like different colors so that if somebody wants to get just their team's color, it's not just this like neutral, like brown color. So she did that and then she sent them all to me. So we have the sampler, we have the original, and then we have all these different colors, which is kind of awesome. Um, so I've got all those. And then we move into basketball. These are Chrissy Ann, more Libby and Co., Planner Kate, some things I made myself that have logos for my teams. And then this is just from Amazon. Um, but I keep this one for like these other random sports, soccer, baseball, and tennis. Um, so that is binder number one. All right, binder number two. So we've got all of my YouTube stuff. So film, edit, upload. These are all from Chrissy Ann Designs, all punched in here. Um, these are from K Glam Co. I've got a bunch of little YouTube guys in here. We have Once More With Love and Coffee Monster Co. Some more YouTube stuff. Film, there's an edit on the other side. We have some Instagram related stickers. I never use these though. Like, I don't know. I don't use a sticker to mark Instagram, but that, I don't know if I ever will. These little laptop guys. And then this section, so it starts with YouTube and then it kind of just goes into media is kind of how I approach it. So we've got movies, music, cameras, phones, laptops, um, theater stuff, more cameras, tickets, movies. These were made by a friend too. Here's some more YouTube stuff, more YouTube, just a laptop. I love these from Sassy Apple Studio, so cute. Um, blog, game night, Game of Thrones. What am I gonna do with all these stickers now, y'all? TVs, movie night, these are Chrissy and so cute. Movie night, Netflix night, Netflix. Uh, these movie marquees, which I really like when I'm going to see a movie in the theaters and then I'll write what the movie is. You know, I could probably use these for Broadway shows too. I've never really done that, but I totally could. Um, pianos, which I literally have for when we go to my favorite piano bar. That's all they're pretty much good for. Um, music notes, laptops, more laptops, Netflix, movies, tickets, I love these more movie nights, um, a laptop girl, a laptop girl. I love that these were redhead and it's like basically my shade of red. And then the other thing in this in this one is workout. So what I should write on the outside of this, although see this one, well, I guess there is space for me to write like media and fitness or whatever. So these are Chrissy Ann and Michaels. We've got Coffee Monster. These are Libby Yoga. We've got ballet, weights, measurements. Oh, yoga. I have ordered stickers for stuff like this so many times and like the only ones I end up using are these. So these are the ones from Chrissy and Designs. These are like older ones that I have and then these are the ones that I make myself. Uh, they were inspired by Chrissy and Designs. I cannot take credit for them. The reason I make them myself is to be able to match colors exactly. The other reason is if I use them every single day, the cost adds up. So I do, if I'm using a kit from her shop, I will try and order the workout stickers in the color that matches the kit so that I'm using, you know, her stickers. But if I'm using a kit from another shop, I typically will try and make my own workout stickers. And then one time I went through and I color coat, like I took, so say I had a kit that had like red, orange, and yellow, and then I used half of them that week. And then I put them and so I basically broke them apart and sorted them by color now. That's what all of these are, is like they were in different kits and then I sorted them by color. But that is binder number two. 
Binder number three. So this one is makes a little bit more sense. It is the Go Wild binder and I have planning stuff related in it. So that one is a little bit easier to know what's inside. So I've got, these are Design Pandemonium. Same with these, Once More With Love, Coffee Monster. So it's all like planning related. I love these little planners from Blue Scooter Press that she does. Uh, she hand draws the different Erin Condren covers. More planner stuff, more planner stuff, planner stuff, planner stuff, planner stuff, planner stuff, <laughs> more planner stuff. For somebody who really like plans once a week, I sure do have a lot of planner stickers. And then one thing that I started doing that is on the list to do completely is take apart samplers. So I took one of these sticker sheets, which is basically the back of an of a used up sticker sheet. That's what that's all this is. Now, you can buy these sticker backings on Amazon, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. You can either buy the smaller ones, which are about this big. Like they're very, very small. I thought they were gonna be this size. They're not, they're very small. Or you can buy the full size sheets and cut them, but the full size sheets are kind of expensive. So I've just been trying to save sticker pages when I'm done with them and use that as backing. So these are all Chrissy Ann and Michaels, but they were on a sampler with a bunch of other stuff. So I, you'll see it in future binders as well. I basically took the sampler and split it up and put all the you know school related ones in this binder. Um, so that it's there because when things are in samplers, I don't, if I need a book sticker, I don't necessarily go to the samplers first. Now, maybe I could, maybe that would be better in terms of using up samplers, but I think even though it is going to be so much work, I think what's going to work better is if I actually go through all the samplers and put all the book related samplers on a sheet like this by all the other book stickers. You know what I mean? So we have planners and then we have books, which I have a lot of book and like school related stickers because I had them from when I was studying for the actuarial exams and I got rid of some of them, but I kept all the really cute ones that I like. Some of them that are just reading, I could use for reading. Some of them I have like saved for, you know, maybe someday when I have kids. Yes, I am saving stickers for kids. I just said that. Um, some of these, uh, this is Chrissy and Design. Some of these are shops that aren't around, so I'm not necessarily calling them out. Um, if there's something that I flip by that you're like, I need that sticker, comment below, give me the timestamp, and I will tell you what shop it's from. If I sit here and go through every single page and every single shop, this video is gonna be forever and a day. So those are all the school related stickers. And then here are all the Go Wild related stickers in the back. So I've got some leftover Erin Condren kits from Go Wild. This is from the very first Go Wild. The shop isn't around anymore either, but there's a sticker with my face on it. So I had to keep it. Um, some more Go Wild stickers. Some of these are leftover from past Go Wild kits or dashboards from the swag that I didn't use in my memory keeping that I wanna keep for future Go Wilds. All right. Binder number four, come on down. So we have travel is the first thing in this binder. Um, so we've got these coffee monster, these little airplane stickers from Sassy Apple. I love these. I haven't used them yet because I hadn't, before filming this video to prep filming this video, I finally organized all of my stickers from the wild collab sale. Yes, I realized that was in August, okay. So I haven't used these yet because I forgot that I had them, but now I know because now they're with all the other travel stickers. So we've got once more with love, some suitcases. I have some some location specific stickers. That's what this pocket is. It's Paris, there's London in there, Texas. Some roads for Mohello Stationery. You've got planes, cars, buses. These are the Erin Condren ones. Um, some more random stickers. These are the little ones that are from like Asia that everybody I remember was like on the hunt for. And I freaking forgot about these. Look at the little India one I should have used for India. I need to remember I have these for China. Mm, so cute. Um, packing and unpacking and then oh, the airplane tickets. These are my favorite. So the shop doesn't exist anymore, but these are the ones from Chrissy Ann Design. She's got this style and then she has this style. So if you want it to be big, it can be big like this one, or if you want to get more per page, you can get this style. Um, these are Design Pandemonium, more airplane stickers, airplane stickers. And then we have what I call chores or household, I think is what I used to call the category. So, so far we've got travel and then we've got household. So I have like cleaning stickers, you know, more cleaning stickers, house, little house stickers, clean out the fridge. These are Chrissy Ann and Michaels, more, you know, just like literally chore stickers, laundry, cleaning, 
making the bed, etc. And then I have what I call errands related stickers. So we've got grocery shopping and more grocery shopping. I guess family time should maybe not be in the errands section. I'm not sure why that's in there. More just like regular shopping, the dentist, the doctor, more grocery shopping, manicure, pedicure, Target, shopping, shopping, and then family time. I don't, I feel like family time needs to go somewhere else. And then we have date night kind of section, like love and things to do with Sam. So I've got the wedding stickers, I've got our personal stickers, date night stickers, date night. These I love from Peanut Butter Taco that are custom to look like us. We have these actually ones that look like us that Design Pandemonium made that Sam had made for me actually for my first birthday when we first met. Um, more date night stickers, date night. I put the Jewish star stickers in here because if I'm doing something Jewish related, it's mostly a date night. Like if we're going to like a party at the JCC or whatever, and then it's kind of a transition into the religion sticker. So I've got little churches and Bibles, Bible study, little churches. And that's that binder. So that one, what do I need? That's a, there was a lot of stuff in this one, right? It was travel, household, errands, and date night. I feel like I would need to write all four of those things on the outside. All right. I don't know what number we're on. Binder number five. All right, so we've got birthdays started in here. These are from the Chrissy and Designs Celebrations Collection. That's what these are all from. This one too, this one too, this one too, and then some more Lily Henry. This is Design Pandemonium, Design Pandemonium. This was another one of those kind of, I was taking apart a sampler. This was left over from a kit, so these were all, were all already here arranged like this. I didn't line them up that perfectly, and then these were from one of the Christiane and Michaels sampler pages. I think it was the same page as those little books that we looked at earlier. Candles, balloons, little birthdays. The Erin Condren birthday set is these three pages. So that's the first section. And then we have food. So we've got like meal planning, what's for dinner. I kind of started to do the same thing here, lunch date, dinner date, and then same thing here with like actual food pictures. Um, you know, brunch things. Okay, we got this far into it and I realized I forgot to tell you about a couple like storage related things, general things. So I did tell you that the binders are from Chrissy and Designs. However, they are the Russell and Hazel brand. So if you don't care about the label on the front, you can get them from the Russell and Hazel website. You can also get them at the container store and they also come in a lot of colors other than white. I have tried to do strictly just white so it's all very consistent, but if you don't care about labels or you don't want the labels, you could get colored binders. The page protectors, are from Amazon. They come in a pack of 100, I think it's 15 bucks for 100 of them, 100 of them. So those are from Amazon, I'll link that below. And then to get the ones that are two pocketed like this, I actually made them myself. So all I did was take the page protector that is from Amazon, I stuck like a piece of cardboard or a magazine cover or something inside of it, and then I used my X-Acto knife to cut a slit all the way across, to create this little slit here. And then I used a fuse tool to fuse the bottom of the top pocket together. Now, if you look closely, like this is not very well done. Like I wasn't perfect. I tried not to be like a super perfectionist about it. I basically just cut the slit and fused it. And there we go. And now I have this size page protector with two pockets. I don't know if they make them like this. They, they probably do somewhere, but the fuse tool is a one-time purchase and it allows me to make them for as long as I want, as many as I want. You could also make them in different size pockets if you wanted. If you have a lot of those Planner Kate samplers, you could do three rows and put those little Planner Kate samplers there. You could do a lot of different things. I just mostly made half ones, but completely forgot to explain that to you. You're probably like, Lincoln, where are those little half pouches from? Let's keep flipping. So we have all the food-related stickers. So brunch, grocery, well, the grocery shopping one should have been back in the errands, but sometimes I'm inconsistent when I'm sorting stickers, clearly. So meal prep, oh, I like these from Blue Scooter Press. More meal prepping. These I used to mark just going out to dinner. These are Chrissy Ann's. Brunch, meal prep, meal plan. All right, and then we move into the drinks. So we've got literally a combination. It's mostly coffee, tea, and then beer and wine. So we've got all kinds of drink-related stickers. Coffee, coffee, tea, wine, cocktails that I use to mark usually when I'm going out with someone for coffee or wine or beer or whatever. These, oh my God, these red Solo Cup ones that Jody got me forever ago. Beer, 
coffee, wine, wine, coffee, coffee, wine, etc. And then the last section in this binder is like pets, animals slash pets. Uh, Charlie gets her own section. I don't know what you want to call it. So I've got like little paw prints and little kitty stickers, more kitty stickers, cat food. These are so old. I have no idea where they're from, but I like them to mark when I'm like going to the zoo. There was a plan with me once where I came here trying to look for something to go to the aquarium and there was no water related animals in this whole section. I don't know what these are from. These ones that have Charlie's face on them that I got from Design Pandemonium forever ago. And then these, oh my gosh, I will never get rid of these, but I also probably will hardly ever, I don't know if I'll ever use them. Sam got me these when we first started dating from the Asian bookstore here in New York because he knew that I liked stickers and they're kitties and they're just the cutest thing and I have to keep them forever, forever and ever. So we'll just put those back in there and then this pet section at the end. So this binder really needs what? Birthdays, pets, food, and drink, I guess is what's in this one. All right, this binder I save for at the end because it's a little bit different. So it's still considered like specific actions, I would say, but it's sort of a hodgepodge of samplers, but like focused samplers, not like samplers from shops where they put their best of the best and then you kind of like hope that you find something. These are sort of like very curated samplers. Let me just start flipping and you'll understand. So these two sheets are samplers that came with my Chrissy and Designs binder purchase. And then these are all little icon samplers from Chrissy and Designs in all the different colorways. So we've got bold, pastel, the simplified colors, the gem tones, and then we have them all again in squares. And then these are from Michaels in different colorways. I think this one's like, yeah, oh, look at that silver. And then different shapes. And then some of these, like these are really old Chrissy Ann designs. Oh my gosh, look at this. She left this sheet for me when she came and stayed with me in New York like eight million years ago. Um, I have the little Steve's more Michael's stuff, the little Pete's from Michael's. And then I have all my Chrissy and Designs like word action stickers. So I've got sleep in, real life, family time. Maybe this is where that fan, those other family time stickers should go. No excuses, get it done, relax, sleep in, day off. And then the little ties I use to mark work stuff, usually when I'm like working from home. I have these from Design Pandemonium that are kind of the same types of word phrases. I have more of those, some of those, us time, hot mess, and then some emojis. These are design pandemonium emojis, lazy day. And then I have these samplers. These are, again, from a shop that no longer exists, exists, but because they are all organized by color, they get to stay in here. And then same with these. These are from Libby & Co. and they're all sorted by color. So if I need like a green whatever, I can go look at the green sampler and see if it's there. So that's kind of what this binder is, like a, in a very specific, and this is usually where I go first if I'm looking for something in a very specific color. Um, we have this funny list from Peanut Butter Taco and then another Libby & Co sampler in the back. All right, the next one I'm gonna show as part of this video is this binder. This is from Design Pandemonium that I got at an event. That's why it has my name on it. Um, and then I had everybody from the event sign on the inside. This binder is not used as much as it used to. So this binder used to be my go-to binder to start planning out my week. And you'll see as we flip through, they used to be things that I used. And you'll see as we flip through, it used to be things that I used every single week in my planning but I don't as much anymore, but I haven't quite figured out what to do with these stickers. So we've got first all the weather stickers. So these are Chrissy Ann and Michaels. These are Chrissy Ann from her website. This is the hippie planner and these are from Amazon. I have a ton of these. And then I have all my gratitude stickers from Design Pandemonium. And I used to put these at the bottom of every single week. You can see how many different colors I have them in. I used to put them at the bottom of every week. Like if I was planning out what weekly kits I was going to use, there was an associated gratitude sticker that was going with it. And part of me feels like I should get back into that because I loved having a place to write down what I was thankful for every single day. I might do that for next year. And then I have a bunch of checklist stickers. So I used to put a checklist on every single day when I was planning. So these are all from Erin Condren. 
and I ordered them basically in rainbow colors. And then I used to have some here that I made myself. I ended up throwing those out. They were kind of starting to yellow, and because I don't put checklists every single day, and because I plan with kits a lot more now, I figured that those were not necessary. And then I have some hodgepodge weekend stickers. So I have these strips that are from Chrissy Ann, and then I have these. I don't know if the shop is still around. I loved these, they were so cute. These, I don't know if this shop is still around. Um, oh So Pretty Planner, and then some Design Pandemonium. These are in my handwriting. So again, I don't use all these things as much as I used to, but they're all still together in a binder. Okay, the last binder I'm gonna include as part of this first video is this one. And the binder itself is from Design Pandemonium. I got it in one of the monthly subscription boxes that they sent. I think that they still sell them. I'm not 100% sure. I also know that you can get binders like this on Amazon. I will try to link those below. And then you can also get them like this from a shop called Pegatina Plans. I've seen those in person at various conferences, um, but just th th those are the options to get a binder like this. Now, the reason that I have one binder that is not white, Russell, and Hazel is because of the Erin Condren sticker sheets. Up until the most recent Erin Condren sticker book, all of the Erin Condren sticker sheets from books to the surprise kits through the through the like weekly kits all of them were all too big for those other page protectors there was no way to store them in the small binders without cutting them up and at first i was actually cutting them up and you'll see that in here and then when i got this binder in the subscription box i was like it's amazing because it fits literally this is all aaron condren stickers that's all this binder is is aaron condren stickers and i do have them organized somewhat which you'll see as i flip through but they are all from the Erin Condren sticker books that I have taken apart. So this binder is really nice because it's got like the page protectors built in. Sometimes that can be a little bit of a downside because you can't move things around or take things out, but it is still a really nice option, especially to store the Erin Condren stickers. So again, I'll link all those options down below, but let's start flipping. So the first thing I have is them sorted by month. So I tend to use the Erin Condren stickers for my monthly planning. And so I have taken apart the Erin Condren sticker books and I have stored all the sheets from every different version in here. I don't actually know which versions are all available. This is the most current one, which again, they made smaller. And then these are all the different older ones. And you can see this one must've been the 2016 version because these are all January and some of them have more stickers used up than others, but there have been five versions of this monthly sticker book. So I have all the January in here, and then on the back we've got all the February, and that is the first pocket. All right, so then we've got all the months. Again, just all the Erin Condren stickers. Some of them have some extra stickers in them from like various surprise boxes, but that's it for the most part. And then I've got the other stickers that I use for my monthly planning, which are the ones that turn the layouts from Sunday through Saturday to a Monday through Sunday. So I have the Chrissy and Designs ones, I have the Planner Kate ones, and then I have just the date covers from Erin Condren. Then I have these quotes. These are very old from Design Pandemonium. The year that Erin Condren removed the quote from the top of the monthly layout, they created these, so I keep those in there. And then I keep these little photo ones in there as well for monthly planning. Then we get into all the Erin Condren stickers. So the first thing I have is anything that is kind of like an event box, like a blank rectangle box. And again, these are from a hodgepodge of sticker books. These are from the back of the planner. I think these are all from sticker books. Some of these might have been from surprise boxes or sticker subscriptions. I truthfully don't remember. These are available separately on the website. This was from the back of a planner. You can tell because they're much bigger. This, I think, was a surprise box. I don't know where these sized ones came from. Or oh, the teacher planner, maybe? I don't know. Then we go into the ones that are more like have a washi strip on them. So we've got, these are really old, different versions of those and those. These are all from different sticker books. Like these, this is the most recent one for sure. This is like the oldest one. Then we have all of the sort of icon ones. So just different icon type sheets from Erin Condren. I have these. These are a set of three that you can get on the website now. I don't know that I'll ever really use these, but I have them in here. This is from the first sticker subscription box. We've got some more, same with those. And then we have, it's just like a hodgepodge. At this point, it's kind of just whatever, I have them in here. And then these are all from the back of the planner. So I have the bright version on one side and the pastel version on the other side. That's what those are all from. And then the little hexagon ones, these are pretty new. And then back here, I have all of the like 
sticker sheets that I use either as a weekly kit or as part of my monthly planning. So we've got the mid-century circles and then the little stars, different, different versions here. Oh, this is so pretty. And so these I will come for when I'm gonna plan my month and I need one of these to plan my month or sometimes I use them as just a sticker sheet. Like I literally just pulled one of these mid-century circle ones out to do a rainbow week. So I use them in both ways. But you can see how before I used to cut them because that was the only way they would go in the little page protectors. And now they fit totally and full in this binder, which is awesome. So I highly recommend getting, if you have a bunch of Erin Condren stickers, getting at least one of these binders is super, super helpful. So that's it. Pretty much just all the sticker sheets. And then I have some empty empty ones back here. And then I have my perpetual calendar back here that's got birthdays in it, since usually when I'm planning my monthly, I need birthdays. So that is it. I say that's it. That's it for now. We will be back next Sunday with more sticker organization videos, but that is gonna be it for this video. I am gonna link every shop that I mentioned down below. I'm not going to link every individual sticker sheet, otherwise the description box would hit its limit. But again, if you have any specific questions for any specific sticker sheets, please let me know in the comments and I would be happy to help you find them or at least let you know that they're not available anymore. But that's gonna be it. Let me know in the comments also, how do you store your stickers? Do you have a different method that you think works better? Have you, are you still searching? I feel like finding sticker organization has been a journey in and of itself. We talk about planner piece, <laughs> trace sticker organization piece. I'm not convinced it exists, but that is gonna be it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. And that is what this, the, that, this. I just realized that I have lipstick on my hand from Ulta. But the full shy, full shy shoot. There's a hair right there. I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna take a coffee break. Coffee break over. Mm, there's too much pressure to try and put this back in the pocket on camera. Uh, uh, why can't I talk? Um, how did these end up in two different pouches? <laughs>